Hello, hello collective. This is Divine Empress 71. I hope you guys are doing well. Happy Sunday. Happy Father's Day to you. To all you dads out there. Or maybe soon to be dads. Uh, if you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. So I'm going to be using... Um, this is one of my newer decks here. Uh, it's called um, it's called What Lies Beneath. So I guess more or less what is being hidden, maybe. <laughs> All right, let's shuffle one more time, Holy Spirit. All right. All right, and so we have we have knowing. Yeah, somebody know that they fucked up with you, uh, collective. Well, that is. Let's see. Emotional intelligence. Hmm. Okay. Somebody may find that you are um, an emotional, uh, intelligent person, emotionally mature. Yeah. Somebody, um, somebody uh, may know that they effed up because of some bad choices that they may have made. Hmm. And then we have falling apart, falling into pieces. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, it looks like to me because of, you know, what they know, uh, you know, in regards to what they've done, they fit in some kind of way. Mm-hmm. But they may be, uh, but whoever this is, they may be hiding it, um, collective. They they may be, you know, silently dealing with it. Yeah. They may be silently dealing with it. Yeah. Because you kicked this person to the curb because of the bad choices they they may have made. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Okay. What else for the collective? Yeah, because you see, because you saw this person as toxic. Okay. Yeah, do okay. <sighs> okay. Yeah, you saw this person huh, as toxic, so you kicked them to the curb. They've been in their feelings about it. More than likely, they've been in their feelings about it ever since. But they've just been dealing with it, hiding, hiding how they truly feel. You know, and, and, but... But but they know why, you know, you kick them to the curb because of their toxic ways and they made bad choices with the connection due to their toxic ways. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's too many. And then we have um, bank failure. Bank failure. Must be um, bankruptcy, maybe. This person is having some um, um, financial issues. Or then again, they could be spiritually bankrupt as well. Yeah. Yeah, this is somebody who likes to front, too. Uh, you know, um, 
Yeah, they did because like I said, uh this could be somebody because of their toxic because of their toxicity, this could be somebody that uh wore a mask. Uh uh because they don't because they like to seem um you know this is somebody who may be falling falling apart on the inside dealing with the with uh the the separation from you they are dealing with it they are suffering silently they keep it into themselves but when they come out in public they, you know they don't you know this is something that they hide they'll come out you know uh looking to be the the you know the star of the show you know they want uh, you know, they try to appear to be more than what they are. Uh, this may be somebody that like to present themselves as though they got it all together. And, you know, and nothing is wrong. But behind closed doors and deep down, yeah, they just, they are dealing with some things. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. You got doing drugs here as well. Uh, this this person could could be uh, could be someone that may indulge in alcohol and drugs. Maybe um, this was one of the bad choices that they made too. Um, mm -hmm. That could be one of the bad choices they made as well. Is in indulging in drugs. You know which may have could have caused issues with you as well with the with the connection that they had with you you know some of you could have let this let this person go because of drugs mm -hmm. hmm what else do you have? I don't know, but somebody's copying, copying you, Clayton. I don't know. Some of you may be dealing with a copycat. <laughs> you know, somebody that may, um, somebody that may try to feed off of you as far as like, you know, this could be somebody at work. Uh, you know, they try to dress like you. You know, wear their hair like you, drive what you drive. Mm. Mm -hmm. But see, for some of you, you already know that. Some of y'all already know, you already know the T um, about a copycat person. This person could be whoever this person is. They could be watching you too. As well as this person that you kick to the curb as well. Mm-hmm. Somebody monitors y'all. Some of you. Some of you are being monitored by a past uh, ex. Or and or uh, somebody uh, who tries to compete with you. That's why they try to copy you. Yeah. Mm. And then we have I I hate nothing about you. I hate nothing about you. So um you may be some of you may be admired by Either this past person or people in general. Somebody admires you. Um, this past person, um, if you was, you know, if you was good to this person, uh, before you kick this person to the curb, you may have given this person the best of you. You may have given them all the chances in the world before you finally had to let them go. 
That's why they they hate nothing about you because they cannot find nothing to hate about you. Mm -hmm. And even some of your haters, like this copycat here, admire you. They do. They admire you too. They really, they really hate nothing about you either because <laughs> because if they because if they. Uh, because if they did, then they wouldn't be putting all this time and energy trying to copy you and trying to compete. Hmm. Somebody could be this past person that you let go of. They uh, uh, they may see you as somebody who's you may be fulfilling your own fantasy, or maybe you you may have fulfilled theirs. At one point in time, you know, um, hmm. this person could have seen you as, you know, a very sexy person. They were very attracted to you. Um, the chemistry could have been off the chain between y'all, you know. They, they may have found fulfillment being with you. Some of them, some of them did. Hmm. That's why, like I said, you know, if you were good to this person and you have never tried to come back to this person or try to reconcile, maybe you don't want to, whatever the case may be, they miss, if you had good energy, that's, they miss that. They miss the good energy that you gave, the love you gave, your whole 100% you gave. And they're and they are not getting that from anywhere else. Yeah. They are not getting that from anywhere else. Mm-hmm. Once upon a time. Yeah. So, you know, um, for some of you, you know, um you love this person. Uh, whoever this person was to you, you loved them once upon a time. Uh, and you probably still, some of you probably still do. It's just that they were, uh, um, they were just too toxic. Um, and it wasn't good for you. So you just had to cut it loose. You had to let it go. You had to kick them to the curb. Because, and like I said, they know that they effed up with you. They do. And uh and they are in their head about it too. They are um see, they are in their head about it. Falling apart in their head. Yeah, they yeah. Mm. Yeah. You <laughs> You may see and you may see this person as somebody who's you may you just may see the connection as old news, it's outdated. Uh, you know, I'm not I'm not, you know, looking back at that anymore, you know, whatever. And this person may feel discarded by you. You know. You may see this person, uh, for some of you, as having an outdated way of thinking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You may, for some of you, you know, you may have seen this person, you know, as just a, uh, as baggage, as a, uh, as a disappointment. Um, you know, and you're not, you know, and you're not looking back at it. You know, it's just something that's played out to you. And this person, you may see them as played out, you know, yeah. Hmm. Mm hmm And keeping a promise. Uh, this person um may have promised you you know some uh you know promised you uh Maybe they could have promised you that they would do better in the connection. 
but they didn't. You know, they could have broke the promise. Um, you know, you may be the kind of person, collective, that believe in keeping your promise, you know, standing on what you say. Well, this person, uh, you know, like, I, you know, they, back to that, you know, knowing that they messed up. You know, they, they could not have kept the promise. Maybe they promised you that they would leave drugs alone. Uh, they would, you know, they would work, you know, they would let go of their toxic ways or they would try to do better, you know, towards you. But they never did. Uh, you may feel like this person uh, need anger management. Maybe they told you uh, that they would go get anger management, you know, because this is somebody who had a bad temper. But uh, they didn't, you know, um, but they may have made the choice not to do it, you know? Hmm. Hmm. Then we got caution is here. Um, you may be guarded with this person now. Um, collected for some of you, or they could be guarded with you, but, uh, this, this, uh, this tells me guarded, um, and it's, and maybe, uh, not as well as being guarded, but, you, you know, you don't trust this person now because they let you down. Hmm. You, you may feel like that this is the kind of person that you may need to be cautious of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, you kicked this person to the curb uh, because, you know, there was a lot of... There was a lot of drama, drama that came with this person, too. You know, it was always um, some, you know, some stuff going on. Um, and you just got tired of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you had, and so in order meant to get rid of the drama, you had to get rid of this person. Hmm. For some of you, this person may want to apologize to you, but it may be a fake apology, a fake apology. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. This person may see you as you may be dodging them. <laughs> yeah, you may be dodging this person. Hmm. If this person may have ran from you in the past, but now you may be running from them. But some of you are straight up dodging this person. Yeah, because see, this person is in their feelings. Mm hmm Because you got rid of them. You know, you just keep, you know, you you may, some of you may see this person as trash. Mm hmm And and behind in their feelings, depression came out. So like so yeah. Yeah. You felt like uh this person may have played you. But uh this could have been a uh liar. In a, in a manipulator, hmm. somebody who uh, may have kept secrets, because for some of you, this person betrayed you. Yeah, that's why I said you see this person as somebody you don't trust. Yeah, that was a betrayal here for some of you. Yeah. Yeah. This person could envy you or, you know, for moving on or for tossing them to the side or somebody does. And this is whoever this copycat is. Uh, they envy you. They also envy you as well. Hmm. Maybe we got pregnancy tests here. Somebody was uh, unsure of a, um, of a pregnancy test. Hmm. You may have um, 
gotten, you know, maybe um, there was a pregnancy there um, between you and this person. Hmm. But, you know, but you were unsure. Maybe, maybe you thought you was pregnant, but come to find out you wasn't. But you felt like this person kept secrets from you. You know, they kept secrets from you. Hmm. Uh, you, this person, uh, for some of you, this person possibly wanted to just keep the uh, connection with you private. You know, they, they didn't want people to know. For some of you, you could, you know, you could have been dealing with somebody that wanted, wanted to just keep, you know, just keep you a secret. Because, and one of the reasons for some of you is because this person slept around. They were promiscuous, um, you know. Um, they This was not a faithful person. In other words, this, per this person wasn't faithful. So that's why they, they did not want, um, you know, um, to go all out with this connection and let everybody know that you guys was, was in a relationship. Some of, some of you may, may have some fake friends. As I said, you know, um, some of you, um, some of these fake friends, uh, are the ones that want to copy you. And this person may have fake friends as well. They may have fake friends too. Toxic friends at that. Friends who are toxic just like they are. Hmm. Then we got police. Um, you know, this person could have been, uh, uh, you know, because they had a drug addiction, uh, they could have had a run-in with the police. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Whoever this person is, they deal with insecurities. But, like I said, you know, they, they may hide behind that as well. Yeah. Yeah. You, uh, I don't know. You look at this person as drama, a bugaboo. They just get on your nerves. Mm. You feel like that, um, for some of you, because this person get around like they do, you, uh, you feel like, um, uh, you know, that, uh, and maybe at one point in time, you may have to, you know, protect yourself sexually with this person. Uh, because you kind of knew the T that they were sleeping around. Hmm. Or this could be somebody, you know, because they sleep around, they just may, you know, they just may use sexual protection themselves. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So this person is like I said, you know, they know that they destroyed the connection. They know the you know, uh they know they effed it up. They, you know, they 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 shattered it to pieces. They and this is how they feel. Shattered, broken, and effed up on the inside. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Let's get another one. Yeah. So we got to check yourself. Hmm. Yeah. You feel like that, you know, that this person, <clears throat> this person may, you know, have these toxic ways about them. Um, but they may be in denial that they got these ways about them, they might feel like that, you know, ain't nothing wrong with them. Everything is all good with them. But uh, you may uh, have to, you know, check this person once upon a time and tell them, yeah, you need to take a real good look at yourself. Take a real good look at yourself and, you know, and check yourself. Like that old rap song, 
uh, back in the day, check yourself before you wreck yourself. You know, and uh, and you know, and you may have to have checked this person and told this person about themselves. You know, hmm. some of you are expecting a new beginning, um, but uh, that doesn't mean that you are expecting that with this person. This person may want a new beginning with you, though. Mm hmm. Yep. They could be looking you up, too. They could be. Mm. Somebody, if they are watching, they, I don't know, if they, I wonder, are they watching? And, you know, they may be gossiping uh, as well, or somebody is. And they monitoring you to see, you know, like, just to see if something is going to go down with you. You know, like whether it be your finances or, you know, what's going on in your home or whatever the case may be. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Some of you could have been married to this person. Um, yeah, uh, you may have found some evidence on this person, uh, just that this person might have been cheating, they were unfaithful, hmm, yeah, and then we got red lipstick stains, somebody could have found some, um, you know, some red lipstick stains, uh, on somebody's collar or clothes or whatever, hmm. But then, somebody, whoever it was that was cheating, tried to hide or burn the evidence. They tried to. They tried to get away with something. Somebody did. Yeah, but when you caught this person, you said game over. You, you was done. Yeah. But like I said before, some of y'all are surrounded by haters. So, you know, you are, some of y'all are surrounded by haters. And you might be friends with some of them, but you just don't, you know, either you may be uh, ignoring the red flags, or maybe, you know, or maybe you just don't know or what, I, you know, but all, all will be revealed in time. It does. You just got to pay attention to it once the Holy Spirit show it to you. Uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and wrap this up. Um... Let me see. Um, where am I? Hold on, y'all. Let me find my other cards here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Here they are. Alright, we're going to shuffle a couple of times and then we'll get a message from Spirit and then we'll close out collecting. Alright, one more. Alright, Spirit. Give us a message for the collective. What is it that you want the collective to know? Resilience is one of the strongest qualities you have. It has gotten you through so many trials and tribulations in the past, and it will continue to do so. Lean on that inner tower of strength. Anytime that you need it, you got this. All right. That's good. That's a good message. Resilience. Hmm. Yeah. How many of you have resilience? Being able to overcome anything. Yeah. Being able to overcome all I mean all obstacles. That is one of the best qualities to have. It's when you have resilience. Yeah. It's gotten me through some tough times. 
I'm pretty sure it has with y'all too. But just like I said, you know, but just like Spirit saying, lean on that inner tower, that you know, that inner strength that can come, that can only come from within. Mm-hmm. Lean on it when you need it, just like when you need it, needed it to lean on when you kicked this person to the curb. You know, you had to lean on that 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 inner strength, which is your resilience. It gave you that power you need to just push forward and move on from this person. All right, Collective, that's all I have for this reading. I, I hope it was a blessing to you. Uh, before I forget, I want to thank you guys for the super chats. Uh, I really do appreciate it. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, thank you for your likes and your shares and your subscribes, everybody. I really do appreciate it. And I will talk with you guys again real soon. All right. Bye-bye.